I think if you're going to stare down Jens Weidmann, you better know the difference between your Phillips curve and your Taylor rule. Well, you know? Weidmann, and that's yeah, the, but that's you know, because Weidmann's been wrong about everything for 10 years. He so has like, been wrong, and that's why but he's got I was wrong about strongly of the view that he should yeah. not have, he should yeah. not get that job. So, and you know, one of the good things about uh, uh, Christine Lagarde is getting it is that she's not Jens Weidmann, Weidmann, right? <laughs> and if I, I mean, I agree with Greg <laughs> that if uh, if she is able to use her political savvy uh, to to convince European government to that, that, that have fiscal space to actually spend more, invest more in public infrastructure, do more themselves to get the economy revived because indeed the, EU, uh, the ECB's toolbox is starting to look a bit threadbare, that will be great. The only thing is when the, when the uh, excrement hits the ventilator in the middle of the night, you know, you've got to know what you're doing. And uh, Mario Draghi was a leader he was somebody who was willing to go out ahead of the pack to take a risk and to say the magic words, whatever it takes. And as a central banker who will have to unfortunately remain anonymous said to me this week, we've gone from whatever it takes to whatever. <laughs>